Hi, I'm Spencer Revere Smith. Hi, I'm Che Hong Yu. We're here at UC Santa Barbara, and as part of our work that's sponsored by the National Science Foundation and the Neuronext program, we're going to tell you a little bit about adaptive optics. Here, Che Hong has built a demo system that involves a deformable mirror and a Shack Hartman wavefront sensor, and he's going to show you how this system can be used to measure optical aberrations and correct for them. So how is a typical adaptive optics system uh, set up? Uh, the system starts off with a collimated laser beam, uh, passing through a lens, a mirror, and another lens, and another mirror to have an enlarged and collimated laser beam in the space. Um, it means that the laser forms a plane wave with flat um, uh, wave fronts. And these two mirrors are used to adjust the pointing direction of the laser. And these two lenses are used to adjust the uh, beam size. And we can have a sample in this space to distort the waveform and mimic the uh, waveform distorter uh, so that um, such as the uh, changing atmosphere in the sky or uh, the uh, scattering samples in uh, scattering tissue in the bio samples. And two more lenses are used uh, to enlarge the laser beam further so that we can fit the uh, size of the laser beam to the aperture of the deformable mirror so that we can use the uh, we can fully use the uh, um, um, uh, surface area of the deformable mirror and this is the uh, deformable mirror that can change the shape uh, of uh, that can change the shape to compensate for the uh, waveform distortion and then this uh, uh, deformable mirror reflects off the uh, laser beam to another pair of lenses here and these lenses these two lenses are used to uh, fit the uh, laser beam size to the uh, aperture size of the waveform sensor here. And then the laser is divided into two arms uh, by this, uh, this beam splitter. One arm of laser is guided into the waveform sensor, and another arm of laser is guided, uh, is passing through the beam splitter and can be uh, guided into a optical system to be used, such as a microscope. But for now, we set up a screen to block the laser so that we are able to see uh, the laser beam directly uh, on the screen here. Uh, inside the wavefront sensor, there is uh, a micro lens array and a camera. And the detected, the detected signal uh, from the camera is sent to a computer underneath, uh, under the optical table here so that the shape of the wavefront can be uh, calculated and seen on the uh, um, computer uh, screen monitor here. Um, for now, um, the, def the deformable mirror is set flat, acting like a regular flat mirror, uh, so that we, uh, we see the detected wavefront on the screen is also flat, so that we get uh, a collimated laser beam in the space here um, before the, the screen. So for here, this is the interface for us to change the shape of the deformable mirror. Um, here shows us the, uh, the shape of the deformable mirror, and these sliders are the uh, Zernike coefficients. By changing the shape of the deformable mirror, we are able to see uh, the shape of waveform also uh, curves either inward or outward uh, from the center. So the result is as if uh, the laser beam is reflected by a concave uh, or convex uh, mirrors, which re can result in the uh, converging or, um, or diverging uh, laser beams. For example, we see on the screen of the wavefront is curved outwards, so that we uh, so uh, we get the. Uh, divergent beam on the white screen here. Um, so by changing 
more uh, linear coefficients, we are able to generate uh, very complicated shapes of the form of a mirror. So that we can see, we get we get a very complicated shape of wavefronts, uh, and so that we can uh, so it ends up uh, giving us very uh, complete complicated shape of the uh, laser beam here. So next, I would like to show you how we can use uh, the form of mirror to compensate for the wavefront distortion. So first, I'm gonna zero the um, the form of a mirror so that the mirror becomes flat again. And then I'm going to uh, put the uh, uh, convex lens into the space here to mimic the uh, waveform distorter. And it is known that the uh, uh, convex lens can curve the wavefront inward from the center which will result in a converging la uh, laser beam or focusing laser beam. And as predicted, we can see the wavefronts becomes uh, inward curved. And also uh, we have a focusing laser beam in the space here. So now by changing the, um, the, fo the focusing coefficient of the deformable mirror, uh, as you can see a flat uh, waveform is gradually restored. So it shows that um, uh, the distortion induced by the uh, convex lens can be uh, compensated by changing the shape of the form of a mirror. As a result, we got uh, we can bring the uh, we can get the um, uh, collimated laser beam back in a space here. So I just show you how we can use uh, the form of a mirror to uh, compensate for the uh, waveform uh, distortion. Finally, we can con in a real application, we can connect the um, uh, waveform sensor with the form of a mirror together to form a closed loop. In this way, the waveform sensor can tell the form of a mirror to what uh, shape it can change it to so that uh, it can, um, the deformable mirror can compensate for the wavefront uh, distortion. In summary, we have had a brief introduction to adapt adaptive optics and its applications. The key components to detect and compensate for the wavefront distortion are discussed. Then we built a typical adaptive optical system to show the basic layout. We hope that this demonstration provides a better understanding of adaptive optics.